Ghosties and listeners, welcome to Shuen Station. It's to good to have a new with your host, Denkoa. Rudiko! And what an episode it was. Yes. I want to begin saying, I was right. <laughs> I knew the grandma was the original alcoholic. I yes. knew it. And the, the show proved me right. And when it was about to show her, when Rudiko was like, it was down on her, mm. that I was right, she began like, oh no. <laughs> Uh, what do you mean? Oh no! I wasn't like that. It was more like I realized that you were right. And you're like, oh, her pot doesn't. Uh, his pot center's right again. Cause let me tell you, even when I <laughs> drag her to watch something I've already, I'm already familiar with, and I don't tell her anything, Dinko can really just pick up on all kinds of hints and be able to s figure out things. Like we've just called it the pot sensor, and honestly, it's on point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, like if. It's not like I can look for spoilers or anything. No. Sometimes I don't encounter a few and I tend to tell her so she knows I know something. Yeah. But most times I just put things together while watching. And sometimes I also use my brain what, what makes more sense out of the universe. And I just felt like the most fitting character to be the villain would be the grandma. Yeah, yeah. And later on when she elaborates on her reasons and motives, yeah. I, thought, I thought that, yeah, that makes for a way better story. And honestly, I look forward to seeing Kuya-san again, but we will talk about that later. Yeah. Because there is something very important right yes. now. Yeah. We saw E.T. B.T. Philip. Extremely important. Put yes. him on the screen right now. Yes. Thank you. Wonderful. Emphasis on the extreme, because that's something else that happens in this episode, but anyway. <laughs> we'll get to that too. <laughs> Extremely cute. Yes. So, how do you feel about the fact that drugs make you an esper? I... I gotta say that's a very interesting thing. Doesn't doesn't sell me on drugs any more than it would normally. Like, <laughs> do you want to call back to our favorite gifts? <laughs> yes. Stop it. Get some help. I got to say it this time. <laughs> but if I acquire magical powers, I can help myself. <laughs> yeah, but like, how many? How much drug do you need to take before you reach that point? You might die before then. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, I, that's actually a part, a part of the plot of this particular arc, eh? Yes, exactly! <laughs> I mean, it's kind of funny that she was dying in front of alcohol poisoning. <laughs> Even if it made her ascend into yeah. magical telepathy powers. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, I didn't get the vibe that she was dying from that. It was just like old age, right? She's pretty old. I, I mean, I mean, it cannot help. She did say that the museum experimented on her. Yeah. So even though it may have just been all age, it may also have been that. A compliment issue. Yeah, I com yeah, I complimented. Yeah, like I was saying, a compliment that complimentary issue. Yes, nail it. I know yeah. so much English, dude. I'm so good at English. <laughs> anyway, oh, I dropped my pen. No. Okay. Oh. There we go. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just every time that I'm talking, ghost is theirs of mine. You see, my time fiddling with a pen all the time. Sometimes it just drops. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, anyway. So, Henshin. Yeah. We got we got two Henshins in this episode. The yeah. most... No, actually three. Three. Yeah. Because we got normal Cyclone Joker. Yeah. Extremely cool every time. Yes. Then we got Psycho jo Cyclone Joker Extreme! Extreme! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, but the way, I think that I've noticed that was really cool, is that mm. when Cyclone Joker Extreme speaks, both sides both lit sides. up. Because it's a well, shared body. Yeah. yeah, but you know that when it comes to Fang Joker, it's yeah. the Joker side that lit up. Yes. When it comes to Cyclone Joker, Cyclone Joker, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's Cyclone side. Yeah. But this time, because it's both of them that they are yeah. sharing a body, they are truly one, both sides yes. lit up. And I think that's just a yeah. nice detail. It's really cool, yeah, yeah, I yeah. like it. I agree, I agree. Yes, and then we saw the Aurora the Band Henshin, which, uh, yeah, was kind of like the most disappointing of all of them, just by the fault. I mean, if, if he accounts, then we can also say we also got to see, you know, Kiku uh, turn into the alcohol Topant, if Topants count. Uh, so. I, I think Aurora is kind of special for being the final boss, you I know. know. He's kind of like a that special kind of Topant. I, I understand that, I'm just saying that is a Henshin we did see this episode, though, that's what I'm trying to say. Okay, which which Henshin is the worst one then? Well, obviously, the <laughs> alcohol is the worst, but well, least interesting. <laughs> I was protecting an old lady's pride by not calling okay. her the worst. And look at what you're doing. No, 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 no. No. You guys, you heard this this year. Rico hates grandmas. 
No! <laughs> but, back to extreme though. Um, I really liked how, uh, you could see that they're, that the hands were literally physically, like, pulling the, uh, the white partition out, you know, sp stretching it out, like, physically. That was, like, really neat detail that I don't know if they did in the original, which probably not, because it's hard to do with live action, you know. I don't think so, but I remember when we watched the original. While I really yeah. liked the concept of Psychological Extreme, the yeah. actual Henshin was a bit disappointing. Mm -hmm. So, this take on it, I really like. It may end up yeah. being my favorite. I will, I will need to rewatch the old Henshin after recording yeah. this. So Yeah, yeah. Our thoughts are going to be on the screen. <laughs> yeah, and I'll probably also get a clip of it for this section as well. <laughs> yeah. yes. So, BL. We got our boys called sweethearts. Ah, yes, there's no way I wasn't gonna comment on it, thank you. <laughs> indeed, indeed. I, I just like that just a thing that happens. <laughs> yeah, I just kind of like that just happens, and I know why I just address it. You're like, yeah, yeah, we yeah, keep scrolling. <laughs> I mean, sweetheart specifically is a little weird, but in general, like, that's kind of a granny thing to refer to young, young people, you know? Uh, so... It just depends on your interpretation of the thing, but anyway, I don't know where I was going with this. I think I regret it. <laughs> it's, just, oh, it's okay, it's okay. Just, I like to believe that grandma supported mm. the gay. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> so, something very interesting that came up while we were watching is that mm -hmm. our dear Rico here mentioned Foundation, Foundation X when yes. Kiko was talking about her backstory. And I want you to talk about it, because it's a okay. really cool thing that maybe people watching the anime may not get, because I don't know if yes. they will address it. Yeah, yeah. So, Museum is the big bad of the original Kamen Rider Doubles show. But there was something beyond that which wasn't really relevant in Double itself, but did lead to being relevant for the crossover movies, and also leading into straight-up actual crossover of a sort with two of the other uh, Kamen Rider shows that followed it, which is O's and Forze. Now, yeah. basically, all, all three of these shows, the the enemy organizations in these shows are being backed by this mysterious Foundation X, which is, you know, like, giving money and research ability and all stuff like that for their own purposes, which is a mystery, which, as far as I know, never really got... Ex Explain probably because they kind of dropped the Foundation X thing after Forze. Yeah, like I, I think they did want to like keep it going for a while because it never yeah. gets super destroyed. I think they do kind of like close it in a crossover movie, but mm -hmm. they could have extended even more if they wanted. That they yeah. cannot use lost interest. The thing is that both Forze, us, and W are excellent shows. So yes. in a way, that kind of serves as a good way. To wrap them up in a yeah. watch this trip kind of package. Yeah, yeah. By the way, um, if anyone here has not watched us or Force, uh, do it. I can yeah. shield you. Force is basically what if Josuke from Part 4 of Jojo was the Kamen Rider. <laughs> <laughs> and us is like, what if the sweetheart things we mentioned before was actually unironically gay? Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, yeah. But cool, cool love blossom between a literal floating hand. <laughs> <laughs> and a hobo. <laughs> Find out. The most unlikely romance. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Talking about dropping things, I will never forget how Boss has like 10 female main character. Just has yeah. incredible superhuman strength yeah. and that you never address it. It never leads to anything. To anything. Yeah. It's not even like a gag. It's just a thing that happens twice in the show and then you just never address it. it it's great. <laughs> yes. And I, I like that in the uh, in Zio, when they bring back some of these characters, she still has super strength in another universe. <laughs> yes, I like. In they still don't do anything with it, by the way. It's just a thing. <laughs> yes, a, a thing. <laughs> okay, but about back to Foundation X. The what I was trying to get at when I mentioned it while we were watching is that with the backstory of the grandma, like. Extending with her history with the museum, and seemingly also with whatever organization Bando is running, uh, I was like, Foundation X also has to be involved here because they were the ones that back a museum, and I wonder if they have a hand in whatever Bando is doing as well because Bando is clearly 
on some level, like, a similar organization to Museum, because they're dealing with Gaia memories and distributing him in the city and all that. Is So I was like, I wonder if they'll actually do that, or is it just going to ignore it? <laughs> I mean, it would be really funny if, after we say that, they never actually closed up the plot. They actually closed the plot in Fototande, and we just never found out, because nobody bothered to translate this manga in, in eons. <laughs> I guess we'll see. I guess we will see. So, um, Azel sadly could not win his fight, <laughs> no. which is very sad. Very sad, yeah. Um, but at least we got to know that the screen the band probably runs an Instagram. <laughs> uh, I, I definitely was like, what? <laughs> this is what social media does to you. <laughs> Clearly. That just your normal Twitter user. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, screaming is about right for Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> indeed, indeed. But yeah, I mean, she's still very, very cute, got Lolly, but at the same time, yeah, the the, the whole I will be you was a bit like, I don't know, I don't know. Yeah, and you don't really like uh, Scream Topan's design as that kind of way either. <laughs> I mean, no, like, again. Why does why does she have Bob Jiggle? It just why <laughs> why anything about? <laughs> Honestly, the the worst thing about it is that you got the goth lolly in her Dobon form is doesn't have any of those aesthetics. Like it's just wearing yeah. pants. It is extremely unfortunate. We kind of funny. She was actually Rachel Sario, and we were just assuming. I, I guess it could be somebody else, but I kind of doubt it. I also kind of doubt it. But it would be really funny. She was actually just with Rachel Sario, and the other guy was yeah. actually the screamed up and. <laughs> yeah, like. There is a point to be made about the fact that there has been times where a man will turn into a monster and have a feminine voice. Looks yeah. like Forze. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I mean, it will be kind of funny, yes. <laughs> and I will say that the Brachiosarius uh, memory will definitely match her style of being gothic way more. Yeah. Well, I don't true. know if they want to pull the plot twist. Because it we'll is see, one we'll thing see. that Futo Time is very devoted to is tits. So I don't know if they will remove them. <laughs> Sure. <laughs> also, um, it was just a throwaway line, but they do say when they're explaining later, when they're talking about the um, Taurora Pants plant. Yeah. They, well, you have, we have um, Terui, yeah. and Terui says, and I quote, he, f- he cut him loose, talking about the Mega Neura, and it just, it, mm. yeah, that's the way to call it. That's the way to call <laughs> it what happened. Eh? Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, that's... Mm. It's just a line, but it just made me crackle, like crackle. <laughs> Speaking of all the stuff at the end with everyone just hanging out in the agency before they all go their separate ways, Hannah is still cute. She was surprised and adorable, but it's like, yeah. girl, if you wanted to meet a man, you only need to install Tinder, what are you doing with your life? They are listeners, there was a, a section that was called here, where we discovered that Ruriko doesn't know how, t- how Tinder works, thank you. Hey, <laughs> hey, hey, that is not what I meant. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. That, that just makes you more moe, it's all good. That's best. Okay, fine. <laughs> we also were pretty impressed by how Kuya resolved at the end, uh, with you know him wanting to actually just get a job and earn money his own way instead of relying on what you probably still have, considering that I don't think all of their wealth was in physical items at the mansion. <laughs> I'm sure they have a bank account. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, I-, I will ask them so, but... I think that that's because he also wants to respect his grandma's wishes, because yeah. his grandma wanted him to remain basically an idiot who doesn't know how anything around him works, and yeah. he wants to become somebody that can actually carry that weight the same time, the same weight that his grandma did, just minus the drugs. Because in a way, in a way, his grandma did everything for him, for him and his parents to live a happy, blissful, ignorant life, yeah, yeah. and he wants to be able to carry that, carry that weight without basically disappointing his grandma and also being worthy of Kana. Yeah. Because he did kind of like love Kana then. <laughs> so I think I think that's nice. He has a reason to better himself as a person and I'm cheering for him. I also yeah. like the vibes that he had with, with Shotaro then. Yeah, it was really cute. <laughs> <laughs> and then Shotaro got utterly bamboozled. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, hold on this thing. Actually, let me remember one story. Okay. This is gonna be fun for you to get to get the sources for this. Um, okay. So, back in the day, there was this charity in Animal Crossing. Yeah, we're going to Animal Crossing. Though. Oh. Okay. So, this is charity in Animal Crossing. She's a very cute dog girl. Mm. I, what's her name again? I, I, I haven't know. played Animal Crossing. 
Isabel, ya. Yeah. She's super cute, but the way I really like her. Yeah, yeah. But Isabel, she's like your secretary. Mm -hmm. And she has a desk. In her desk, in the Japanese version, they put a glass of oil on tea. And because people in the West uh, don't do really do their, their proper research, a lot of people thought she had, she had just whiskey on her desk. <laughs> yeah, and they began basically making theories that she was an alcoholic or something like that. When, yeah, it, it's, just, it's just a long tea. She doesn't, she's not really drinking, my dude. <laughs> don't drink. But that just made me remember that. <laughs> yes. That, that's just. doesn't surprise me at all. What are you thinking about Fototante so far? What are your thoughts? I'm definitely enjoying it. Like, it still feels exactly like. It feels like, like, like we've never left. Tokimei in some of the fan service is a bit more than double had, yeah, but. Yeah, anime, I imagine uh, having fan service is definitely more than literally not having fan service at all. <laughs> yes, um, but it's not enough to really break the rest of it and how it just fits everything that we've we've known and loved from the original show. The characters, mm. like, it's just everything. I, I love it so far. The arcs have also been pretty good. Yeah, I definitely agree. Like... This art particularly I really enjoy it because it has a sense of mystery. Mm -hmm. Like it really felt like it's deeper into a novel. Yeah, into into like Kamen Rider W's take on a Agatha Christie novel. And I really enjoy yes. it. I yeah, really, yeah. really like it. And like you say, it does feel like we never left. This this definitely feels like Futo. And the charters yeah. feel like feel correct. And the mood, the ambience, the sounds, mm -hmm. the visuals, it just feels like we are really experiencing Kamen Rider W again. Yeah. Which is something that I really enjoy. And that very rarely happens when it comes to cameos or continuations. Yes. So, for example, um, one of my favorite cameos, and once again, I'm going to just be controversial. Mm. One of my favorite cameos in Sio was Kiva. Was it because he had the characters I most like it? Not really. But he nailed the tone of Kiva. He nailed yeah. what being somebody watching Kiva again is like. And I love it experience. Because no other Kamen Rider show really nails the... Sub opera energy of Kiva so well, you know? The disjointed sub opera that you, you're like, does that even really make sense? That's the experience of watching Kiva. That's the experience. Yeah. It was perfect. Like yeah. the moment that that girl was kicking like the, the manhole cover around like, like, a, like a football while also being completely serious as a scene and also trace romance for no reason yeah. and also we're gonna get married. Like, that's just Kiva. That's the essence of Kiva. It's a mess, yeah. it's great. <laughs> so yeah, I really enjoy when a show can nail that tone. I agree, I agree. Alright, so usually Denko brings some like extra things to the to the table to make her me react. But this time I'm going to be like, hey, have you seen this? Gaspu! She's pulling to a reverse car! Yes. <laughs> so Oh my god! <laughs> we we went from live action to anime. <laughs> And to now action again <laughs> of the anime. <laughs> of course. I mean, you know it's anime because Philip now has green hair. This is just yes. the new canon. This is the new generation of Philip. <laughs> this is just great. I love it. Like, the costumes are low-key made for this because, again, they began as a toko. I know. <laughs> is he about to say that I really want to see it? No. It's not bad at all. <laughs> Maybe we can do a review of it eventually. <laughs> oh my god, yeah. Just reviewing Futo Tante, the toku, the anime, the manga. Yes. The stage. <laughs> the stage. <laughs> I mean, the word stage does have a lot of letters. Maybe we can just find like an adaptation for it for even later. The series. Mm. The toku. The anime. The generation. The yes. evolution. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's just great. I mean, it is, it is truly like the second coming of Camera W. I don't want to complain. It's probably one of the best tokus they have ever made. Honestly. <laughs> so, what do you think about this week's gag? Well, <laughs> uh, it's sure nice that we got something different. <laughs> Again, like, <laughs> I, I was afraid that they were going to really fall into the same, to, into a rut, you know? But yeah. clearly they're, they're, you know, mixing it up. And I like this, this uh, new idea with Akiko. And 
it was very funny. <laughs> like, it, it relied on the on jokes based on this arc, it, and also just was amusing in general. <laughs> I really liked yeah. that you could see Kuya in the background at the end, just like dead. <laughs> yes, <laughs> this is not all on thee. <laughs> nope, we tricked him. <laughs> oh, no. oh no! And of course, Philip, adorable. Thank you. That that's my contribution to this conversation. Philip, cute. <laughs> Yes, yes, Philip is cute. And that's what we'll uh, end this with, is... Reminder, <laughs> Philip is cute. PSA, Philip is cute. But you know what? <laughs> Shotaro is also cute! Let's not erase him. <laughs> I, I like how, how you get, like, competitive about it, like... Shotaro is also cute! I'm like, yes, yes. Your anime husbando can be cute as well. Nah. <laughs> 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 that's... That's all the time we have for you today. This has been Shouldn't Station. Your hosts, Rudiko and Benko. Signing off. Bye bye. Remember, Philip is cute. <laughs>